Hello there, this is Simon with Wild Earth's Children and this is one of our short videos to help you increase your awareness and appreciation of the wonderful world of bird language. I'm sure you'll agree that birds are pretty remarkable creatures. Firstly, they have that wonderful gift of flight which brings them a freedom that we humans can only dream of. Secondly, they come in all different shapes and sizes, colours, they live all over the planet. But mostly I think the reason humans have fallen in love with birds over centuries is their song. Their song is so beautiful and for many of us it's the first thing we hear in the morning and the last thing we hear at night. So this is just a few simple ideas that you can use to help you or your children get a little closer and understand the language of the birds. The language of the birds is both a beautiful, a complex, and one that you can quite easily fall in love with. Firstly, by listening to what the birds are telling us, like that little guy that just flew on by at 100 miles an hour, they're informing us of what's going on. They're telling us where the predators are, they're telling us if they're happy, they're telling us what their babies are doing, and maybe they're even telling us about future weather patterns. Secondly, and I think this is fairly crucial in today's society, that it helps us develop a relationship with the natural world. We can't possibly learn about bird language in isolation. We start to see the bigger picture of what's going on. And as we do so, we find out that we're a part of it. And that can only be a good thing. So here's how I recommend starting to learn about the wonderful language of the birds. Uh, I apologize, I'm going to go all homemade clipboard on you for a moment. Not really uh, a clipboard kind of guy, so just imagine this is a page out of my journal. So when I hear a bird call of any kind, I want to represent that on a piece of paper in as many different ways as I can. And this starts to really ingrain it in my mind in a number of different ways. So let's say I hear the call that sounds like, That's a call that many of you might hear around different parts of the states. Firstly, I try and draw that with a series of lines. Both notes are pretty much the same in length. We've got one high note, one lower note. Two distinct notes. Then, when I've drawn it, I want to write it as it sounds to me. To me, this sounds like... Phoebe, Phoebe. Then I'm going to put just a, uh, basic information. When I repeat this to myself, either singing it, saying it, whistling it, humming it, however feels comfortable for you, I want to write how that makes me feel. So this makes me feel pretty chilled out. In no rush. Now let's say I saw a little glimpse of that, of that bird. Any more information you can get down on this piece of paper? That's fantastic. Maybe I just saw, for now, it was a small bird and part of it was white. That's great. We've done so much more than just continued walking in the forest and said, ha, ah, that's a bird call. Now we've started to get it into our mind and we're building up a depository of information that that CD, that no amount of watching nature programs on television is ever going to bring you. Nothing can teach you the language of the birds like dirt time. Simply getting out there in nature, sitting still is the best way to do it, and just paying attention, just bringing your focus and your awareness to all the beautiful sounds that's going on around you. Now this method of writing the notes, phonetically sounding it out, 
you know, writing some field ideas of what's going on. This is obviously just one way to learn the language of the birds. There are many, many others. What I would say, though, is try and learn in a way that doesn't isolate you from everything around you. Uh, for example, learning from CDs and uh, television programs and on YouTube or wh wherever you watch your videos. If we're not careful, we end up uh, learning in isolation. And out here in the natural world, uh, we're all connected. The plants, the animals, humans, the wind, the rains. Um, nothing exists in isolation. And so, if you can learn, or if you can delve into that world, the language of the birds, in the natural world, well, you're going to learn so much more uh, than sitting in front of a computer or a television screen. However you learn about it, have fun with it. Uh, this is a wonderful way, whatever your reasons, uh, to get into this world. Um, whether it's to be a better hunter, understand what's going on around you, if you're wanting to teach your children about this, I would always say the first thing you should do is make uh, have fun with it. Repeat the songs. You know, it doesn't matter if people are around. Repeat the songs, whistle them, hum them to yourself. Try and make them sound as real as you possibly can. Most of all, the language of the birds to me is about feeling uh, what they're telling us. That to me is a wonderful world to get into. I know, uh, you know, I, I've learnt a little bit but I know I've just scratched the surface of what there is to learn. I could take the rest of my life and I might never learn all these secrets. That to me is a fantastic world to be a part of. Okay, thank you so much uh, for joining us, for watching this video. Enjoy your bird watching. Thank you.